missed an episode of your favorite podcast, choose from over a decade of content in our archives. Not just the latest episode. All free at GCNlive.com. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we're here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us show you how simple and how easy it can be to get on a good nutritional supplement program. Wean yourself off your prescription drugs and get healthy for reals. Not symptomatically, not lowering your test scores, but get healthy for reals using a nutritional supplement program, using dietary strategies, using divinely mandated strategies, food, breathing, nutrition, taking it easy, lightening up, and of course, getting on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Dr. Wallach. We can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side and every day on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, head over to my website, brightsideben.com and take a look at our shopping cart. You can also go over to my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products and spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can click on the join the team link at any of the websites, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. All right. We'll take your calls in our second segment, 844-236-6010. We'll talk to Dr. James Ehrlich again about uh, bergamot and polyphenols and flavonoids. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about male sexual performance, ED, as they say, uh, skin health as well with Dr. Ehrlich. And that'll be at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your calls in our next segment. We're talking skin health here on the bright side. We've been talking about it now for a little bit, a couple of weeks anyway. And we'll continue talking about skin health in honor of my new truth treatment products, truthtreatments.com. But we're really talking about the whole body. Everything that's true about eliminating skin health issues permanently and forever is true about eliminating all degenerative health conditions. So if you don't have a skin problem per se, if you don't have eczema or acne or psoriasis or dry skin, et cetera, and I don't know anybody who doesn't have it, at least dry skin, but let's say you don't have a skin health issue that's not a concern of yours, but you have something else going on, please understand that it's all the same thing. All disease is cell disease, and it doesn't matter if it's showing up on the skin or showing up in the bones or showing up anywhere else. And in any case, skin issues, skin health challenges rarely occur unless there's some kind of biochemical breakdown inside the body. Some kind of health issue. Skin issues are health issues. Health issues are systemic. They're global. They're internal. They involve the whole body. The skin is not divorced from the body. It's part of the body. And appearances can be deceiving, 
Doesn't look like the skin is connected to the heart, but it is. The skin is connected to the stomach, but it is. It doesn't look like the skin is connected to the bone, but it is. It is all one system, and you can no more treat skin issues effectively, be they eczema or psoriasis or dry skin, you can no more treat these skin issues effectively without addressing the inside of the body than you can restore a dilapidated Victorian house by putting a coat of paint on it. Skin care is health care, and skin health issues are body health issues. Got eczema? Think foods, think fats, think vitamin A, think vitamin C, think zinc, think probiotics. You got psoriasis? Think sunshine. Think digestive system. Think food allergies. Got acne? Think zinc. Reduce sugar intake. Lower your insulin. Use probiotics. Make sure you're getting your vitamin A and other fatty vitamins. And a typical standard issue moisturizer, even if a movie star tells you how wonderful it is, even if Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston uses it, a standard issue moisturizer is not going to do squat for your dry skin, except for perhaps make you feel a little better temporarily. Xerosis or ichthyosis, which are the medical terms for dry skin, is an epidemic. Nearly all adults have it to one degree or another. And while it's seemingly a normal condition from a healthcare perspective, it is not normal. From a pers healthcare perspective, dry skin is not what should be occurring. It's a sign that something's wrong. Now, you don't want to beat yourself up about it. It's not like you want to judge yourself or anybody else. That's not the point. The point is, is that dry skin isn't going to kill you. It's not deadly, but it's a sign that something's wrong. And this is such an important idea. We may think that we're healthy and that our body's engines are firing on all cylinders, but if we have symptomology, by definition, our bodies are not performing. That's it. It's not a big deal. It simply means that if we want to address and eliminate our symptoms, we've got to recognize that there's something that needs to be tweaked in terms of our biochemistry. Symptoms are smoke. Breakdowns are fire. Where there's smoke, there is fire. Where there are symptoms, there are breakdowns. Where there's dry skin, there's a biochemical breakdown. Where there's pain, there's a biochemical issue. Where there is uh, uh, diabetes, where there's a digestive problem, where there is headaches, migraine headaches, whatever, there's something percolating in the biochemistry. Not a big deal. It's just that because we're deceived by appearances and we have a medical system and a healthcare system that is based on exploitation, we get taken advantage of. We get taken advantage of for not being able to see through appearances. The medical model, the health model, and unfortunately the alternative healthcare model sometimes as well exploits this kind of appearances are deceiving deception with symptomatic treatments, whether they be drugs or cosmetics or concealers or even nutrition. I call it this for that. Oh, you have this? Take that. That's your nutritionist or your dietitian or your alternative practitioner putting on his doctor hat. Oh, you got a thyroid problem? Take iodine. Oh, you have arthritis? Take magnesium. Oh, you have a cold? Take vitamin C. We have a tendency to go this, what do I take route, whether it's a drug from a doctor, a nutritional formula for an alternative practitioner, because we don't see beneath the appearances. And this is good news. Because once we understand this, then we can start to leverage the magnificent, unbelievable healing properties of the human body. And you guys, I have seen this over and over and over and over again. The successes that people have reversing their chronic degenerative diseases using internal biochemical nutritional strategies. Not this for that, but taking care of the digestive system, stabilizing the blood sugar system, deep breathing, relaxing, activating the parasympathetic nervous system to restore well-being and beauty and youthfulness and our God-given, God-given, divinely mandated birthright of health and wellness. There's no getting around it, folks. We got to address the underlying chemistry breakdowns that are always lurking behind the symptoms. And the good news, the great news, is once these are addressed, we're gonna feel better. We're gonna have the joie de vivre, the joy for life that we were born with. Whether or not our particular flavor of diseases are affecting our brain or our nerves or our muscles or our bones or our immune system. 
no matter where our, our particular flavor of breakdown is occurring, we will feel better once toxicity is removed, blood sugar is stabilized, digestive issues are corrected, and the appropriate nutrients are present. Your blood pressure is going to drop, you're going to lose weight, your heart health and brain health and immune health will all improve, and your skin will look better too. Your skin will look better on top of all of that. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Got Dr. James Erla coming up at the bottom of the hour talking about the bergamot polyphenols and flavonoids. If you're interested in purchasing my Bergamax product, go to brightsidehealthproducts.com. Look for Bergamax, and we got some specials going on there as well. We'll talk some skin and some liver health and male sexual performance health as well with Dr. Ehrlich at the bottom of the hour. Our number today is 844-236-6010 if you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs. From Science Daily, University of Michigan, uh, University of Michigan scientists, University of Michigan researchers now say cancer drugs may hold a key to treating brain disorders. This is what the medical model is about. We use cancer drugs among the most toxic and deadly of all prescription medicine to treat brain disorders. At least that's what this, uh, this study is proposing. A therapeutic approach for treating brain disorders using chemotherapeutic drugs. Again, from Science Daily, this one from the University of Minnesota Academic Health Center. Infant antibiotic use linked to adult diseases. Where have you heard this before? What do antibiotics do? They kill bacteria. What's in our intestine that makes vitamin D in the B complex and communicates to our intestinal and digestive cells to help build a robust and healthy digestive system? Good bacteria. Antibiotics kill bad bacteria and good bacteria, and it makes perfect sense that infant antibiotic use would be linked to adult diseases. More? Acetaminophen in pregnancy may lower testosterone in unborn boys. Yes, plain old Tylenol. You got a headache, mom? Take Tylenol, and you can guarantee that you're gonna have baby boys with lower testosterone. These are the kinds of strategies that are built into our culture that we just accept without even asking, without even questioning, without even looking at the obvious. A prescription drug is a poison, that's obvious. How can a poison make you better? How can a poison make you better? How is that even possible? Tell me, call me, 844-236-6010. What's the logic to taking a chemotherapeutic drug for a brain disorder? What's the logic to killing off good bacteria because you want to kill off bad bacteria? What's the logic to poisoning the immune system because you've got an immune condition? To poisoning the inflammation system because you've got inflammation? What is the logic to our pharmacomedical model? I can't figure it out. And I've been a pharmacist for 30 years. I've been studying drugs for 30 years. I can't figure out the logic. Anyway, I was talking to this lady yesterday, talking on the phone. Uh, to this gal, nice lady. She says she lost her taste, uh, lost her taste buds, lost uh, something wrong with her taste. She says she was poisoned. Happened 20 years ago. She still can't taste anything. Or 10 years ago, she still can't taste anything. And I, I've seen this lady. I saw her a couple weeks ago, and I told her, "Ma'am, you got bigger fish to fry than your taste buds." It's almost funny in a way. This gal is congested at night. She's got joint problems. Her body's breaking down globally, and she's worried about her taste buds. So I gave her my usual wrap, you know, you build the body, you take the, uh, the body will take care of itself, you put the nutrition in, you take the toxins out, what I think is common sense. You just take care of the body, the body will take care of the symptoms versus trying to eradicate the symptoms by compelling or forcing the body to do our pharmacomedical building or bidding, I should say. Anyway, I say, ma'am, work on the digestive system, strengthen the blood sugar system, relax the body. Somehow this is just not making sense to this poor gal. Nice lady. Just not making sense to her. She, but my taste buds. What can I do for my taste buds? Ma'am, I say, you can't do anything for your taste buds unless you address the bodily breakdown. Oh, but I'm doing all the right things, she tells me. Now she's getting frustrated. I'm doing everything right. I only eat raw vegetables, she says. Ma'am, it doesn't matter, I'm telling her. Something's going on. Continuing, I tell her, I don't know what it is you're doing. You got to figure that out for yourself. All I can tell you is your chemistry, that's your metabolism, is whacked. There's something wrong with the chemistry. Your body is not in building mode. It's in, it's in breakdown mode. It's in the red. It's catabolic. It's negative. And that only happens when the blood is toxic. When we say the body is toxic, what I really mean, the blood is toxic. And the only way the blood gets toxic is if something gets into it. 
that toxins it out, that poisons it. So ma'am, I don't know what you're doing, but I do know that we gotta build your body back up. As far as your taste buds go, they could easily come back once your inflammation goes down, once your congestion goes away. I'm talking to this lady, your body's breaking down, ma'am. Globally, you're just noticing it in parts. You're just focusing on the symptoms when we need to be focusing globally on the whole body. The parts will take care of themselves. 